So this landlord government has decided to throw loads of people into homelessness. Every agency that works with the homelessness has said that ending the eviction ban will make homelessness worse. But guess what? A leaked government memo revealed that the government made their decision based on the interests of cuckoo funds, who claimed if the eviction ban wasn't ended that they wouldn't be able to grow their investments. So an avalanche of homelessness and misery is coming on March 31st, when thousands of people will be thrown out into a rental market where nobody's going to be able to find a flat because they're too expensive and there's too few. And this is the result of successive governments running down public housing and leaving everything to private profiteers. When more private landlords is exactly the problem that's put us where we are in the first place. We incentivise bankers, we incentivise corporations, we incentivise developers, we incentivise landlords. Maybe it's about time we stopped throwing public money at private profiteers and started using it to help the people. If the government won't ban evictions, then we need a people's ban on evictions. Don't comply with your eviction. It means resist your eviction by any means necessary. Overstay if you have to. Of course you should go to the RTB and pursue the legal routes and tie it up as long as you can. But if push comes to shove, you and your family should just stay in your home. Join Katu, the tenants union, and link in with other people who are resisting eviction. But we also need to get to the dock at 1pm on April the 1st, where the Cost of Living Coalition has called a protest under the title Evict This Government.